one would like to be, you know, to try to encourage students to be as much of a think outside the box as much as they possibly can. I mean, when you're learning at, a, at, at school, at university, or as graduate, or even all the way up as a kind of senior academic, you always have the opportunity to cross, um, to talk to people from in many, many different disciplines. And that, I think, is a really kind of important feature of the way in which sort of science progresses. I know that I've certainly been, I've benefited hugely by um, having both myself having a rather kind of diverse background, first of all, as a physicist and then working in the visual system and then more essentially most of my career actually in the auditory system. And all of these sort of ideas sort of feed into each other in very interesting ways. One is a process of continuous learning. And I think that process of continuous learning where you under, try to understand what other closely related and possibly even further related fields are actually doing is really important.